Welcome back to the Henna Guys Frequently Asked Questions. My name is Brianna and today we're going to be talking about what supplies you need to dye your hair with henna. We have a few other videos talking about the supplies, but this is going to be your one-stop shop to go through everything that's going to make the process so much easier for you. The Henna Guys do have a 13-piece reusable hair dyeing kit on their site. We'll link it down below. This includes everything from clips to a mixing bowl to a shower cap everything that can make the process very seamless all in one place so definitely check that out the henna dye packs themselves do come with reusable gloves and a shower cap which is amazing you don't need to rush to find those things they are already in there for you with every single color that you purchase from there we also recommend having a few tools on hand if you decide not to purchase the 13 piece kit these are the things that we recommend having on hand the first thing you want to have on hand is a bowl specifically for mixing your henna in. This can be a bowl from the dollar store. We recommend that it is a bowl that you use specifically for henna versus a bowl from your kitchen that you're using with food in between that. The second tool we recommend having on hand, which is going to make the process so much easier for you, is a dye brush. Mine is probably 10 years old. You can get this at Sally Beauty Supply, probably on Amazon. One does come in the reusable kit from the henna guys. It's great because it's tapered at the end so you can use it to section your hair and then put some henna on the brush and brush it in. If you don't have one of these dye application brushes, we recommend having a comb on hand so that you can section out your hair that way and then just use your hands to apply the henna to those sections. You may want to have some additional liquids on hand. So brewed coffee will help bring out darker brown tones in any dark brown brown hennas that you're using. You can also use apple cider vinegar to bring out the red tones in any reds, burgundies, colors like that. The henna guys also sell various pigments that you can use to build the health of your hair that have different functions and you can find those on their site as well. And we've said this before in many of our videos, but if you are a first time henna user or just really like to make the process simple, Try using a bathtub, filling it up, and doing a mermaid rinse, which is basically swirling your head and using your hands to get out any of the henna that is stuck on your scalp. It'll make the process of rinsing it out a lot easier. You can also have some trash bags or newspaper laid down in case you are worried about getting messy with the henna. That is it for the supplies that you may use to dye your hair with henna and make it a smooth process. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next video.